Alright, alright. Man, so if it's bought brought into your house by you, then it's a sin. But if somebody else offers it to you, then it's not. That's fine. Sorry about that. We was talking about food and pork and all that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, before I get started, I'm going to say a blessing. Blessed art thou, donate the new king of the universe, who sanctified us with his commandments and commanded us to engross ourselves with the words of Torah. Please do donate only between the words of your Torah to our mouths and the mouths of all your people, Israel. May we or bring the offspring of your people to houses, or may we all together know your name and study your Torah for the sake of fulfilling your desire. Blessed are you, Donai, who teaches Torah to his people, Israel. Blessed are you, Donai, the new king of the universe, who chose us from all the nations and gave us the Torah. Blessed are you, Donai, give her Torah. May Donai bless you and keep watch over you. May Donai make his presence soon, and you may be kind to you. May Donai bestow favor on you and grant you peace. We have two reads today. But the uh, our first one is 5:21 through Mark 5:21 through 34. And when Yeshua had crossed again in the boat to the other side, a great crowd gathered about him, and he was beside the sea. Then came one of the rulers of the synagogue, Drus by name, seeing him, he fell at his feet and implored him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her so that she may be well, so that she may be made well and live. And he went with him, and a crowd followed him and thronged about him. And there was a woman who had a discharge of blood for twelve years, who had suffered much under many physicians, and had spent all that she had, and was no better, but rather grew worse. And she heard the reports about Yeshua, and came up behind him in the crowd, and touched his garment. For she said, If I touch even his garments, I will be made well. And immediately the flow of blood dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. And Yeshua, perceiving in himself that power had gone out from him, Immediately turned around the crowd and he said, Who touched my garments? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing around you, and yet you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Luke nine fifty one through 10.42 Come on, go down. What is your big problem? There we go. When the days drew near for him to be taken up, he set his face to go to Jerusalem. And he sent messengers ahead of him, who went and entered a village of the Samaritans to make preparations for him. But the people did not receive him because he his face was set toward Jerusalem. And when his disciples James saw, and John saw it, they said, Lord, do you want us to tell fire to come down from heaven and consume them? But he turned and rebuked them, and they went on to another village. As they were going along the road, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. And Yeshua said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his heads. To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. And Yeshua said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, go and proclaim the kingdom of Elohim. Yet another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those in my home. And Yeshua said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of Elohim. After this, the Lord appointed Seventy-two others, and sent them on ahead of him, two by two, in every town and place where he himself was about to go. And he said to them, The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers in this harvest. Go your way, behold, I am sending you out as lambs in the midst of wolves. Carry no money bag, no knapsack, no sandals, And greet no one on the road. Whatever house you enter first, 
say, Peace be to this house. And if a son of peace is there, your peace will rest upon him. But if not, it will return to you. And remain in the same house, eating and drinking what they provide, for the laborer deserves his wages. Do not go from the house to house. Whenever you enter a town and they receive you, eat what is set before you. Heal the sick in it and say to them, The king of Elohim has come near to you. But whenever you enter a town and they do not receive you, go into its streets and say even the dust of your town that clings to our feet. We wipe off against you. Nevertheless, know this, that the king of Elohim has come near. I tell you, it will be more bearable on that day for Sodom than for that town. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have been they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable in judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, you will be exalted to heaven, and you shall be brought down to Hades. The one who hears you hears me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, and the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. Seventy-two return with joy, saying, Lord, even the demons are subject to us in your name. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Behold, I give you, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. And nothing shall hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice in this, that the spirits are subject to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And that same hour he, he rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, Thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them Two little children, yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows who the Son is except for the Father, or who the Father is except for the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal to him. Then turning to the disciples, he said privately, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and to hear what you hear and did not hear it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Behold, a lawyer stood up to him, stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Yeshua, And who is my neighbor? Yeshua replied, A man is going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and he fell among robbers who stripped him and beat him and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a priest was going down that road, and when he saw him he passed by on the other side, so likewise a Levite. And he came to a place and saw him pass by on the other side of the road, but a Samaritan, as he journeyed, came to where he was, and when he saw him he had compassion. He went to him and bound him up sorry, and bound up his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he set him on his own animal and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. And the next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper, saying, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend I will repay when I come back. Which of these three do you think proved to be a neighbor to the man who fell among the robbers? He said, The one who showed him mercy. And Yeshua said to him, You go and do likewise. Now as they went on their way, Yeshua entered a village, and a woman named Martha welcomed, her, welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Martha, sorry, Mary has chosen, 
the good portion which will not be taken away from her. Blessed art thou, Donai, new king of the universe, who gave the Torah of truth, said everlasting life in our midst. Blessed art thou, Donai, give the Torah of Bruka Ta Donai, and he will lock Halom. Master Natan Lanu, Trade Met by Shalom, Natabetzi, King you, Bruka Ta Donai, Natin Ha Tara. Well, I hope you all have a fantastic night and a great tomorrow.